Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another body shop related video. I'm going to try and film one of these a week, like a body shop related video, even though this week I think there's going to be two body shop related videos. The reason is it's because everybody seems to really like these videos and I always get the most views on these videos and people request them. Somebody literally asked me a couple of days ago, can you do another body shop related video? So here it is. I actually am filming this and hoping to post this video in like two hours time. So hopefully this will go up on Sunday. If you're seeing it another day and it's been posted on that day, then. I am sorry, but I'm gonna try my hardest. So today is gonna be a body shop empties. As you can see, I've got a basket full of products. This is purely empty body shop products that I've kept and had for a long time. I keep them because I make these body shop videos and I can use them in like product review videos and like best and worst of the body shop kind of videos. So that's why I keep the empty products. And also I've kept them to also do this video as well. So that's why I've got them, you know, and kept them most normal people would not keep their empty products. Also, you will notice I'm wearing a headband. This is the headband that I sell on my website. So if you like it, or if you want, I don't know, one in a pink color or one in the cream color, then please check out my website. It's linked in the description. And I also sell many things on there, but my main products is my tea tree clay mask, currently out of stock, I do apologize. My lemon scented cleansing balm, which is my favorite product on there. I use it to remove my makeup. And my pure tea tree oil, which I use every night on any spots. So that will be linked in the description. If you just wanna go and check it out, I do make these things myself. I send off every order. I put samples with every order unless I've run out and then I will put a little shower gel with your order. I sell bath bombs as well. But yeah, let's get into the purpose of this video, which is an empties. I am going to delve into this little basket and see what we've got. So the first thing is a cleansing balm. This is the Body Shop Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Now, this is what it says is suitable for sensitive skin. By the way, I won't do like close-up clips or anything like that, it's as close as you're gonna get, um, because I need to film this video really quickly. Um, but you get 90 mils, which is pretty much the same as you get in my cleansing balm. My cleansing balm looks smaller, but it's actually a deeper packaging than this one, um, but it's the same pretty much the same mill. Um, it's chamomile scented and it smells really nice. It smells really fresh. This is an amazing like cleansing balm. Obviously it's hard for me to discuss it because I would rather, you know, promote my own product and I use my own product. I've got one of these still in my cupboard, but I'm using my own because I like my own and I'm probably biased, but that's just the way it is. But yeah, this is a great product. Cleansing balms in general are just amazing for removing your makeup. It's quick, it's easy and it's just, one of those things where you can just smush it over your face and just rub everything off and then just wipe it away with a muslin cloth and you're done. But yeah, this is a great product. But you know, if you're looking for a cleansing balm, you could always check out my website and it's cheaper, so. Next up, we've got this. This is an outstanding product. This is the Tea Tree Squeaky Clean Scrub. Obviously, every product's from the body shop. I don't need to repeat myself that it's from the body shop. You get 100 mils, and basically, when I first tried this, this is actually gonna be included in a video soon, which is uh, reviewing the Tea Tree range at the body shop, but this is amazing, and as soon as I first used this product, I was blown away with how clear my skin looked after the first use. Like products aren't necessarily meant to like work first use and then your skin's amazing. It's meant to take time. Whereas with this, I noticed a difference straight away, which I found really, really unusual. It's very fresh feeling. It's very clean feeling um, in terms of your skin afterwards. And this is a definite 10 out of 10 product. It's one of my favorite products at the body shop. So yeah, it's a nice scrub I would recommend, especially if you suffer with some breakouts or anything like that you might want to give this a nice little try it's not the harshest scrub in the world but because it is meant for spots and you don't want to be really harsh on spots because you will aggravate them and flare them up so this is a great product I then have this which is just part of the men's range this is the activist shower gel if you're a woman you can obviously use this as well but it's just in the men's section at the body shop and the shower gels in general at the body shop are really great quality a little goes a long way and that's what I like about their shower gels in general is that you know you pay a little bit more but they last quite long anyway and the scent is so nice and strong this is what Jamie used he really likes um this particular one and 
this ran out ages ago but i just thought i would give it a mention i then have this this is from the vitamin c range i did do an entire video reviewing the vitamin c range i will link it in the description if you want to go and watch it if i forget to link it which i probably will then just look back on my channel I reviewed the entire range and it includes some of these products so this is the daily glow cleansing polish and this is something that's got like it's more of a facial wash than anything it's not a scrub necessarily i do have the scrub down in my bathroom but this is more of like a facial wash with a little bit of kind of scrubby particles in it so it says like daily polish so it kind of like it's like a slight exfoliation every single day on your skin and I think that's really really nice you don't want to be exfoliating harshly every single day maybe once twice a week but this is a, a nice product is it essential if you've got a facial wash no but if you don't have a facial wash and you want to use this then yeah go for it another product from the vitamin c range this is the skin reviver instant smoother this is more of like a primer kind of product they market it as a skincare product but it is more of a primer you put it onto your pores before you apply makeup and it fills in your pores meaning that your foundation won't be sinking into your pores and it will look a lot smoother this is an amazing product again it's one of my favorite products at the body shop i would highly recommend this and it's 100 percent worth the money would i repurchase this yes one million percent and then finally from the vitamin c range this is the glow boosting moisturizer and by the way the vitamin c range is all about glow products it's all about kind of hydrating the skin and giving that glow to your skin which i'm 100 percent here for and all about i had a brand contact me wanting to send me a vitamin c product so i'm really hoping that that goes through i have actually started like when brands send me things i often do reviews for products but because i've got quite a lot of people wanting to send me things now i am starting charging for videos and i never thought that i would get to the point where i was able to charge people for me to make videos or where i would be able to make money through sort of sponsored videos like obviously it's not a hell load of money but it is a, it is for me and i never thought i would get to that stage so i am really happy and i have started um charging for videos and you will know if i do a sponsored video because i will say this video is in collaboration with or this video is sponsored by um but yeah i just wanted to mention that so hopefully that goes through because i really want that vitamin c product yeah because the brands always contact me first and then i will go in and say oh i'm currently only accepting sponsorships blah 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 um but anyway back to this product this is amazing this is either my favorite moisturizer ever or it's kind of on par the vitamin e moisture cream gel moisture cream from the body shop as well is amazing and that's what i'm currently using and it's kind of a way up between that one and this one i think this one probably is slightly better because it has got vitamin c in it but i have realized that i much prefer gel moisturizers than kind of thick cream based moisturizers i just find them to be more kind of glowy and just sink into your skin so much better don't really aggravate the skin they just kind of glide on and they're just so so nice i am going to repurchase this as my next moisturizer so i am going to get this when i get my student loan i'm going to kind of budget myself not waste money i'm just going to see okay what do i need what clothes do i genuinely need i have lost weight so i kind of need a few a few items haven't really bought anything sort of clothing wise really for a long time um but yeah i'm gonna put this on my list of things that i kind of need and sort of want rather than just wasting it on random things so yeah this is an amazing one i would highly recommend if you like glowy products so next up let's go into sort of the drops of youth range shall we it's funny i've literally got like entire ranges in this um here we have the body shop drops of youth concentrate so this is more of like a serum type solution it is very what it says concentrated it's more of a product that you would use if you're kind of in your late 20s it's to kind of target sort of fine lines and sort of small little wrinkles that you might have it does have a pipette so it is like a pipette type thing and you just kind of pop it on do you put this on before or after moisturizer i can't remember i should probably know that um considering i'm supposed to know quite a lot about skincare at the body shop but I don't know um i can't remember what i used to do anyway just do what you like but this was a nice product i can't tell you if it works because i don't have wrinkles to tell you if there was any results but people claim they get results from this so have a look read the reviews um and then here this is an excellent product this is the drops of youth essence lotion now first of all would i repurchase this yes 100 percent 
I really love this. Yes, it's not targeted towards my kind of age range. It's more aimed at people that are slightly older than me, just a few years older, but this feels so hydrating on the skin. It feels so nice. Like I put it on and you can really feel that it's tacky. It feels not sticky, but it, it's kind of like a really sort of, mo not moisturizing, it's so weird. Like the only word I can think of is hydrating because it just feels like you can feel the hydration in your skin. And I would really recommend this. Essence lotions are meant to be applied before you're moisturized that it's meant to kind of help moisturizers absorb into your skin i don't know if that's true that's just what i've heard and read many places so maybe it's true but all i know is that this makes my skin feel really plump and hydrated and i love it so i would recommend that also in that range which i've only just run out of this is the drops of youth gentle foaming wash i do quite like foam cleansers they're quite light they're quite kind of airy and refreshing rather than something that's kind of thicker and this did last me quite a long time i kept this in the shower um you can easily kind of get through this i'm not gonna lie like if you do two pumps of this it will go down really quickly it is like a water consistency rather than a gel consistency hence why it comes out as a foam because it's you know water based inside so it does go down quite quickly, I'm not gonna lie. But if you use like a small amount, a little goes a long way, then you'll be absolutely fine. It's just if you, you know, using loads. But yeah, this is a nice facial wash. It feels really refreshing on your skin and it's not an outstanding product, but it's not awful. It's a nice product. And would I get this in the future? Probably not, but I liked it as I used it. I've just realized I've got another product that I basically ran out of in the shower. It's the carrot wash at the body shop. I'll probably include it in another empties video in the future, but I'm not as keen on that one. I'm not gonna lie, but I think it's because it smells like carrots. And to be honest with you, when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm doing my skincare, I don't really want to be smelling carrots. I'm not gonna lie. So I think that just puts me up a little bit, but I should have known that when I bought it, you know what I mean? Um, but I think it was discounted anyway. Next up, we have the seaweed range. I'm getting my way through it. There's not too much left. We've got first of, oh my God. Why do I have two? Oh. I was like, why do I have two? Well, because you bought two, Georgie. I didn't buy them in one go. I've literally had these empties sat here so long I managed to get through two. Basically, Jamie loves these. These are the seaweed pore cleansing exfoliators. We had one, which I presume was, I don't know, this one, and it's a really harsh, harsh scrub. In comparison to the tea tree one, this one is more of a gentler one, but feels really refreshing and is great for spots. Whereas this one is more targeted at oilier skin and it is extremely harsh. The little particles inside of it, kind of the shell bits are quite sharp and they are quite harsh on the skin, which I kind of like because it really does make your skin super soft after. I know some people have their opinions on scrubs and they don't think you should use scrubs. It's not good for the skin. But coming from a person that loves soft skin, a scrub gives soft skin. I don't know. I just do my own thing here. Um, so yeah, this is a really nice one. It's a really harsh one. Wouldn't recommend if you've got loads of spots because it will aggravate your spots horrifically. Or maybe if you've got dry skin, it's not one for you, but it says combination to oily skin. So go for it. And the reason why we've got two is because Jamie loves these so much. He likes to kind of scrub it into his pores and try and get rid of any blackheads or anything like that. But yeah, he really liked this. So that's why we've got two of those. And don't you love that color? Like I love this blue color so much. That's like one of my favorite colors ever. Right. We've got only a few products left. Oh yes. You know, when I was discussing the vitamin C glow boosting moisturizer and I said that I really liked the vitamin E gel moisturizer. Well, this is it. I got through two of these. So I loved this product so much that I immediately ordered another one so that I had it as backup after it finished. And yeah, I literally loved this so much. It felt so glowy on my skin. Like it is a, such a glowy product. I'm here for the glow. When I put this and um, applied this to my face for the first time, you could literally see how glowy it is and I just love it. But I am going, I think when you do your skincare, your skin can get used to products and, and in makeup as well, like you get used to your foundation and it kind of adjusts to your skin and it's not as good as what you remember. Maybe it's in your head, I don't know, but your skin can get used to products. So it's good to switch it up from now and again. So I am gonna get this one as my next moisturizer and then that one will probably be my moisturizer after that. If you know a product works, stick to what you know. You don't need to keep trying new things, but sometimes it is nice to try new things to kind of find what you like. So we've got a shower gel. This is amazing. This is the Fuji Green Tea Shower Gel. I am addicted to this smell. I also ran out of the Fuji Green Tea Eau de Toilette. That's like a, a body spray. I 
think I bought that first here. Yeah, I bought the spray first and I was addicted to the smell. I really love Fuji green tea smell. So I bought the shower gel and I really love this and I will 100% buy this again and I will buy other things in that range again in the future when I've got more money to sort of waste. Um, right now I do not have money to waste and I have to be very kind of strategic about my purchases which I think is a good thing especially because I want to be an accountant I kind of need to think about how to plan budget save money all that kind of thing so probably shouldn't waste any money but this is a great scent to go for and again their shower gels are really good quality and last a long time little goes a long way finally for skincare I do have two makeup products left but this is the vitamin e hydrating toner this is actually a really nice toner I like toners that are more hydrating like this one than toners like the seaweed one which I've had and I think it's still in my cupboard because I didn't really like it too much um or the tea tree one they're very harsh they're very stripping of the skin kind of strip back moisture whereas this one is more hydrating and it feels really nice and soft and you know hydrating on the skin so i really love this i would highly recommend it if you're the kind of person that likes soft skin or just moisturization in general also a really um good toner from the body shop is also the british rose toner it's very plumping it's the one that i'm using right now it's more of like a gel consistency than a liquid consistency so it's quite an interesting toner and it's got like little petals in it so yeah go and check that out if you want to see about that one but that is a great product okay two makeup products We've got this. This is the matte clay concealer in the shade number 10. It's a full coverage concealer. I have another one of these in my makeup bag at the minute. I use it every single day. Um, it's in a light shade for me. So I'll apply my foundation. At the minute I'm using the Wet n Wild foundation. Oh, by the way, I am going to be making a video, I think next week, where I use half my face body shop foundation half my face wet and wild foundation because the wet and wild one is the one i love so much and it's a matte foundation whereas the body shop one is dewy and i want to show how they both fare throughout the day on oily skin and trust me it's going to be a massive difference so stay tuned for that video but yeah i use this concealer just underneath my eyes just slightly to brighten just a little bit it's really nice really full coverage it would be great as a spot concealer but i don't conceal my spots you know i don't have time for that i don't even care about that i just whack on my foundation and that's enough for me i put on so many powders that you probably can't see my spots anyway so winner and finally we have a mascara so this is actually a really nice mascara it's the lash hero fiber extension mascara on one side you've got your fibers so this is the side with the fibers you i'm not entirely sure if you apply the fibers first and then the mascara or mascara fibers mascara i can't remember but this gives full lashes like really thick really like voluminous lashes and yeah the volume is really there this is a great product the only reason why i'm not going to repurchase this is because it is quite expensive it's like 12 pounds something which for me is expensive for a mascara when i'm used to going to lidl and buying one for like one pound 50 and being happy with it so it's about like you know weighing things up a little bit but it is a good one so yeah that is my empties everything is empty everything is empty everything is empty and this basket is also empty my favorite products from this is the tea tree squeaky clean scrub it's the vitamin c moisturizer i also like the skin reviver and yeah i think that's like the top top favorites for this video um so yeah that's everything in my empty products i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe for more kind of body shop content let me know if there's any other types of videos you want me to do give the video a thumbs up and i will see you in my next video goodbye <laughs>